Alright. On to the sixth turn. And. Yeah. <laughs> not, it's not, not having no good, not having no good luck here, of course. But anything can happen. My Peach is about halfway to the end of this path. If you guys haven't seen from part one, um, Peach landed on that lucky space, which you go to a certain area of the board where you not only get coins or you know other special stuff. Uh, you also would get a free star too. But then I think on one of the boards it doesn't give you a star. It just gives you coins. I kinda don't I don't remember. But we'll see when we get to that board in the future. Okay, we got a two versus two yet though. Alright. Alpine salt. Snowboard down the slope while avoiding obstacles. Use jumps to avoid the obstacles. So you know, just remote, just you know, move to the side. You know, to avoid go left or right. Avoid the, the Mr. Blizzards. Thankfully, when you hit the blizzards, the Mr. Blizzards, you don't, like, spun out or nothing. You just, like, just stop it. Oh, come on. I was trying to get that man. And I missed it again. Come on. I don't worry about this one first. There we go. I almost broke my record. But if I didn't get... If I didn't bump it to the Mr. Blizzards, I would have probably gotten the record. Still in third place. Okay, I could... Okay, I, I forgot to show off the Cash Zap. Might as well put in the line for Cash App. But the Cash App destroys half of someone's coins. So... Some candies like these, the green candies will let you roll a, a roulette wheel, you throw a dart, and whoever it lands on, that outcome to what the candy is happens to that person. So like for the cash zap, if it landed on either Peach Luigi or Toad, they will lose half their coins. I could do that now to get rid of Peach's coins, but she's still going to get coins that, this turn. And also one thing. You don't get the coins. You just destroy them. So this candy is a bit useless, but it could help for, you know, some things. Well, if it can't help you get a good dice roll, then I don't know what to tell you. Gave y'all the story time about this whole, the whole experience with this game from back in 2000. It was either 2009 or 10. I think it was 10. I got the game. Uh, I'll give you guys the story. Uh, I'll tell you after this mini game. Okay, lava or leave them. So survive 30 seconds among the la lava bubbles and small break off from the main fireball. If you fall off the platform, you'll be eliminated. That lava is hot stuff. Oh, really? I thought it was cold. <laughs> Whatever. Same yeah, I actually played this game way back between 2010 for middle school. And man, I can't tell you how many memories I have just... You know, I, I'm thinking back at the memories of this game. But just like Mario Party 7, this game holds a real big spot on my heart. Let's avoid the portable. I know you can't kick in this game. 
Because if you can get your opponents, that would be pretty dope. It won't be good. Oh! Come on, get her. Yes! Good, good. Alright. Alright, so I'm gonna give you guys the story time about it. So, I got Mario Party 7. I actually got it after watching that commercial. You guys definitely should remember that commercial. The two Japanese guys who come to the house and say, We would like to play. Like, come on, that is nostalgia right there. I remember seeing that for like most Wii games, and I was just like, Man, it was just. I couldn't help but smile. That's when I was saying, yeah, I want Mario Party 8. Alright, so... Okay, so... I could get a bowl of candy, sprinkle candy, or cat... Well, I already got cats now. But... The sprinkle candy... Jump to the space. So this one, roll a wheel, whoever lands on, you go to that space that person's on. So, this could be another helpful candy to have, just in case. I am going to go for... Actually, you know what? Well, I'll go for the spring one. But I just thought of an idea. And if it don't work, then... Oh. I think Peach is going to get that star. And she gets it. So, yep. Free star. Yeah, you land on Lucky Space, you just get free star. Alright. And then you go right back to the start. Usually you go somewhere in the middle of the board, but here you go back to the start. And Peach is now going to be heading for that star, of course. <clears throat> Alright, so finishing off the story. Well, I'm, I'll, I'll try and make a show. So I remember I saw the commercial, and I think this was like a few weeks later after the game came out, or a month later or so. That's when I went to Target one late one evening with my mom. Went right to the game section and just got the game. And I actually bought it this and I actually bought it. So I had some money saved up and I got that game. So I was excited. And I was playing until two in the morning. It was a school night, but I didn't care. I was just playing that game while I was just playing that game until like two in the morning. Oh man, but yeah, those middle school days from Mario Party 8. Man, that, that's just all I can say. And plus, since this game was so... This game... This game was my Friday nights along with Party 7. But yeah, that's the story when I got the game, though. Alright, so, Swerving Skies. One player tries to shoot the other three down by hitting two targets on each aircraft. Try to shoot planes down. Focus on their targets. Trying to survive. Teamwork tip, stay separated. And of course, so you can fly in all directions and use A or B to shoot. Like, this one could be pretty tricky if you're the one player. But it's actually, it's tricky if you're either the one player or one of the three players. Yeah, more party, I love it. That's the memories from getting that game. Jesus now. Gosh. Mm. Yes! Got it. Woo! Tricky to aim, but got it. So here's the thing. This isn't actually my my copy of Mario Party 8. I actually bought this from GameStop a couple months ago this year. So this isn't my original. I actually lost that a couple years later after I got the game. I don't remember what happened, but man, if I had my original, that that would have just been a real deal. Okay, Luigi's closed. So let me try 
to see if I can spring to his path. So just how the spring will look. The character becomes a spring. And here's the dark wheel, so aim. Yes! Right on him. And he doesn't have enough of the star. I mean, he has those yellow candies that could mess me up, but that's something. And yes, I got it. I finally got it for a star. And what you get, Mario? You got the star. Yes, finally. I think that's the seventh turn, but. So now we get it. Here's a Mario Party, you can't give up. Oh, here's a new, here's a candy. The Weekly Candy. So this is a pretty dope candy right here. You turn into three versions of your, well, not versions, but, how should I say, there's three of you. And each time you pass by someone, you take a piece of candy from them. And since there's three of you, all three of you will carry one candy each. So like if I landed on, if I went past Luigi with that candy, I would have taken three of his candies. So that's how that candy would work for me. Yeah, I lost my original copy for Mario Party 8. So I actually bought this from GameStop earlier this year actually. And I've been playing it for like half the summer. Yeah, Mario Party for the summer. This one, Mario Party 7, and I also could say Mario Party 6 are top GameCube slash Wii Mario Party games that's perfect for the summer, and then there's many others, but those three are definitely Mario Party for the summer. Mario Party 8 with the whole carnival, whole surf carnival vibes, Party 7 with the vacation vibes, and 6, I guess I could say that gives kind of a vacation vibes, but also the whole... Day and night vibe. I, I, I don't know, but it's still perfect for the summer. All right, we got Rudder Madness. Grab the rudder and steer your way in a river race. Hitting obstacles will slow your speed, so steer clear. Mm, that's all you gotta do. Yeah, but this mini game is pretty dull. It's boring, but you know, it's a race. Okay, I'm just gonna go. I'm grab my way, Peach. Yeah, try not to hit obstacles when you're freaking... Yeah, come on. Here's something, Toad. Okay, come on, come on. Yes! He hit me, so I got that little boost. But you'll get a boost if someone does hit you. Alright. So, yeah, so I've been playing this game for like... Half this whole summer, man. Like I said, I've been enjoying it, you know. Making the memories from back then. Like, everything. Okay, so Star's way down there. I can't do anything, but Peach is heading for it. I am going to go for the cast, Zach. I mean, she's still going to have enough for the Star, though. But I could still, you know... Half those coins, though. If I land on them. Yes! So, she'll still have enough, but Lisa brings down her coins. Yeah, so now she got 35, she lost 36. It would be nice if you actually still get the coins, but. I, I, I don't know why it would happen. Oh, and that happening space right there, a spear guy will come. He, he'll take the candy you have and then he'll give you about 15 to 20 coins just for that candy. Alright, so we just going for cash drop. Oh, man. Oh, damn. Okay, at least he didn't land on me. So Toad's just gonna lose four coins. Now, 
He's right there. Gotta get away from him. Let's see, what turn is it? It is the tenth turn. Here comes Bowser. So Toad actually, I would say, did a good thing landing on that. But now Peach can't get that star. And that can help it jam to the Bowser theme. And way really down there, near the start. So the best luck would just be to land on DK. Now we get a, a two versus two. Mario Brothers versus the Princess and Toad. The Toad Seals, I guess you can call them. All right, bumper balloons. All right. I'll bet this game, this mini game actually confuses me at times. So I'm just gonna really make sure you and your teammate must pop balloons that match your team color before your rivals pop theirs first. Watch where you're driving. Don't actually pop the other team's balloons. Uh, yeah, because I always get, back then and even now, I always get confused about what balloons should be popped. Your opponents are the same ones as your, as your color. Uh, so we just got pop blue ones. Go first, Luigi, guys. Like, like, see, look at that. You already messed up. Get that? Good. Perfect, perfect. Yeah, because back then, even when I read the rules, I would always get, con I would always mess up and accidentally pop the other team's balloons. It kind of goes with now, but then it just makes it confusing, especially because, you know, you know how like when you're in a team in a game, you're both in the same color. I mean, I know it shows it with the cars, but then it, it gets confused. It gets, it get, it feels confusing at times. That's what I like to say. Right, so let's see what you got. Oh, there you go. Okay, so there's rice candy, sprinkle candy, and here's another candy. There's some blue candy. There's actually a total, I think, of three blue candies, which are just like the green ones you use on yourself, and just like the yellow ones and the green ones, they have an impact on the opponent, but then kind of an impact on yourself. But two of them will be shown on one of the boards in the future. Yeah, the duello candy will let you roll two dice blocks, but when you pass someone, you stop right there and you duel them in a duel. But I'm not gonna go for that. I'm just gonna go for a dice candy. So. <clears throat> All right. Did that land on? Oh yes, I did. Landed right on DK. Yes. Let's take it right to that star. Perfect. And there's our second star of the game. That was some good luck right there. But the Dwarven Candy will be help is helpful for movement. But then again, if you want to duel that one character who's like leading or so, then I will go for it. Okay, so here's a look at the Blowway Candy. When we turn into a tornado, of course, and... Yep, just get blown back to the start. And you messed up, Peach. So now you're going to be taken to the other side. Now, if I remember, this happening space is a bit different from party mode in, star, in the Star Battle Arena. Now, I bet he's going to get one to land on that spear guy to get some coins. But that was the slow go candy. 
Oh no, he don't. Oh, so he messed up. So he was aiming for a one. We had the Slugger Candy, just like the, I think it was called the Sluggish Room of Mario Party 7. It shows down the dice graph. So in this game, you go one to five, not one to ten. And then you do, you know, you land in. And also Toad, Bowling Ball Toad. Yeah. Well, he didn't get nothing, but he did get a good roll with a 10 man. And then we get Catastrophe. And the way they came up with these nicknames was just real clever. Anyway, I finished first in a two lap cart race against your foes. Take your inside curve on a turn to finish a lap a little faster. And two to accelerate, one to break, and then a turn. And it's the same track too. So it doesn't change each time you play this minigame. Now, you, you guys will see that tight turn. Yeah, that turn is really tight, so. And I'm doing so bad right now. It's this turn right here. Okay, inside turn. The final lap. Uh, oh shoot. So turn, turn, turn. Okay, we just really doing something. Oh crap. Oh, that ain't good. That's not good. Oh, man. Wait. Oh. Ah, no. It's not. Oh, I didn't land in that grass. That wouldn't have happened. Oh, the control is pretty tricky, though. Oh, man. I'm gonna go for something for that star. Damn it. Damn it. Damn it. It's not enough. Hold on. Two, two, four, five, six, wait, wait, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh yes, do that, do that. I know Toad can't get the star, but I could get the happening star if it's available. I know that was a dumb move, but it helped. Anyway, I think I see what Peach is going to do. Wait, oh, she did. Oh, no, she didn't have enough. She didn't have enough. Uh, oh, but it was Bowser. If it was DK and she got a six, she would have got the star. You get Chump Rope. How many of you know? Showed off in the trailer. Oh, uh, simple. One player swings a jump rope for 15 seconds, trying to trip up three jumpers. Controlling the rope, change up your swing speed. Trying to survive, pay attention to the speed. So, one thing, of course, when you're the person who's jumping, you definitely gotta pay attention to the speed when they swing that rope. Oh, my God. 
Oh, that fell too early. Oh, damn it. I messed up the jump right there. Yeah, that's a tricky in the game, man. But here's what really happened. Like, I jumped, but he was going so fast, I was trying to hit the up quickly. Clearly, yeah, the controller didn't want to listen to that. You know, there's two things I want to do, but actually, you know what? I mean, I could go back down to just try to go for that, of course. You know, I'll do that. We just wait right there. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and use the weekly candy. At least let some action happen with that. Okay, good. Now, Peach doesn't have no candy, so I, I won't steal nothing, but Toad? I think I take both his candies. Oh no, you just take one. Oh, do I want to use it? Hold on, let me quickly think. There's that space, I think I might land there. Where's the other one? This one, there was another one. Where's that at? Oh, there's one right up there. I think it's just those two. Should I even go for that? I mean, I could hope to land at that one at the top right. Okay, I thought the Weebly would still take another candy from Toad, but it only takes one from that one character. Okay, good, I did land at the top. That's what I wanted to do. If I had more, I would have gotten the Luigi's uh, candy. So I got the Bolo candy, which is good. If I had more, I would have got Luigi and took his price. But then it takes a candy by random, so you can't expect it to take that one candy you want it to take. Big one. Bad. Okay. Okay, 20. The worst thing when you use those dice boxes is when you start off with a 1 or a 2. Like, it's just the worst. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's close. Oh, no. Nope, landing on the happy face. Oh, and he got the best candy. The big size candy. You guys, will, you guys won't believe that candy once you see it in action. Bit size candy is one of the greatest candies ever. Not just for what it does, but what it does could help you 50 50, but then it's just what the candy does. It's actually how you look when you use that candy. And also, I'm feeling pretty sorry for Toad. He's just not having no luck in this game. And usually, he's that one character that always has luck. Thank <laughs> you. 